Okay, what's up there, YouTube? Okay, so I've had a little bit of a problem on my bike with my phone mount. My phone mount, I've got a phone mount that goes right here, and it's, on, it's mounted to the handlebar, and it's got a wireless charging pad in it. Well, the wireless charging pad stopped working. Now, I ordered this thing about, it's been a couple of years now. I've had it for a couple of years, and ever since I got it, it's been great, so I, I plugged in a, it's got a plug also, it's got a USB port on it, so it's hooked into permanent power, so it's got a USB port, so I can plug in my phone directly and plug in the USB. So the wireless charging's not really needed, so I can put it on there, have it plugged in USB, and now the phone is charging. Well, the problem is, is you use these things, I use it for a GPS. So I use my phone for GPS, and through my Bluetooth, for my, through my Bluetooth unit on my helmet, right here. So I've got the, the, I've got the Freecom, what the hell was that? Oh, that's the little screw that came off of this. So I got the Freecom, uh, the Cardo Freecom 4 Plus on my helmet, on my shoe berth helmet. And what I do is, so when I'm riding, I like to have music or whatever playing through my helmet. And I like to have my navigation if I want to navigate somewhere. So it's connect my my the Freecom 4 Plus is connected through Bluetooth through my helmet. So I don't know. I know a lot of like guys that ride have the same type of situation. You got like a way to mount your phone either on your handlebars over here or up here on your dash somewhere, or you know right here like I have mine, and it's got a little ball mount with like a RAM ball mount and a way to mount my phone here, and that's great. And my phone is waterproof, so it will work. Well, the problem is, is it's an Android phone. And the problem is, is about a year ago, Google changed Android Auto. So in other words, I used to be able to go on my phone, launch Android Auto, like I'd, I'd connect to my helmet, right? Get ready to ride, I'd, I'd launch Android Auto. It would make it full screen on the thing and it would keep the phone on, turned on and the buttons were big and it made it where I could navigate and all that kind of thing. So, of course, Google changes it and now Android Auto is no longer an app on the phone. You act actually always have to connect to a screen. So I have Android Auto in my car, but not on the screen on my motorcycle. So I was thinking it would be nice if I had Android Auto on my screen, right? And the other thing is, is I've, I've, I was, my other alternative was I was like, okay, well, I'll just buy a motorcycle GPS. So Garmin makes a motorcycle GPS and it's a pretty nice one. It's like 400 and something dollars, $400. It's a waterproof GPS. It goes up here in your dash. You put it somewhere like where this is, but it doesn't do all the things that my phone does. Like you can't take calls through it. You know, you can do some stuff with it, but you can't do the same stuff that I'm already used to doing with it. So I was thinking, wouldn't it be nice to have an Android Auto or Apple CarPlay, something like that type of device that you could plug, that you could have on your, on your phone, on your, just mounted right here. And that's where this comes in. I wanna show you guys this little G deal I found on AliExpress. I, had, I told my buddy Chris about it because I was looking at it and I was like, man, I'm gonna get one of these things and see how well this thing works. All this thing is, it's a screen that's a waterproof screen that goes, you can mount it, like I've ordered a mount for, through AliExpress for up here on my windshield to mount it up here. But I can mount it right where my phone is now. And what it does is, what this, all this thing does, it's $150 full price with shipping and everything. And all this thing does is it's a five inch screen with Android Auto, and Apple CarPlay wirelessly. So when you turn it, turn, you get on your bike, you turn the key on, it comes on and it automatically, you just leave your phone in your pocket. You never even have to take your phone out for any reason. It automatically will connect to the unit, run Android Auto or Apple CarPlay, connect to the Bluetooth in your helmet, and you can just automatically just use your gloves on and everything and touch what you want to on the screen without having to interfere with all this. I haven't seen these things. I saw like one or two videos here on YouTube 
and it was they were like Asian videos because it's like made in China. So they had like just a quick example of the phone turning on and it going to Android Auto and stuff like that. I haven't seen anybody do a, a video review or anything of this on a bike for the purpose that it's for. Like for if you're going to be riding the bike for any distances. To me, this seems like this is the solution that we've been looking for, everybody. This is exactly what we've been looking for. You don't have to have your phone sitting up here on your in your dash anymore. You can just connect Android Auto, Apple CarPlay, 150 bucks. So let's open it up and take a look and see what comes in the box. So I'm going to do it right here in front of you right now. So just as a disclaimer, uh, to get the thing connected to my helmet, it wasn't it it wasn't easy to figure out. Like I connected it to the phone just fine, and Android Auto popped right on, and it works fine. But when I'd play music, it would come out of this, out of the GPS thing. It'd come out of there instead of coming out through my Bluetooth. So I connected my Bluetooth to it. I set it as a second phone and connected it, and it still didn't come out. But I could like hit the button on the on the Bluetooth uh, on my Cardo, and it would pause it and start it. But it would be playing out of the unit. And then finally, I I went to a uh, one of the videos for a different brand of it, but it looked exactly the same said you go to Bluetooth INT, and it said Bluetooth helmet, but it said Bluetooth INT, pair it through there, your helmet through there, and then it will connect. So I, I was like, okay, I unpaired my phone, my helmet to this, unpaired it, then I turned it back on and repaired it through Bluetooth INT, and then it worked perfect. So I did it, I plugged this into my computer and did this at the computer before installing it because I thought I don't want to sit out here trying to figure the thing out because it doesn't make any sense to be sitting out here on the motorcycle as much as I love to sit around on my motorcycle. I don't want to sit on the motorcycle while I'm trying to figure this, figure this thing out. Let me open this thing up, show you what's in the box. It doesn't have much and there wasn't any instructions. So basically what you get is the unit and it comes with a USB USB cord. Uh, it comes with a with a little two prong connector that you unscrew. You can screw it in, but it's got a little two prong connector, little weatherproof two prong connector, and then you plug this. It comes with a little USB adapter, so you can plug it in, and then you plug it into USB. I guess it's for firmware updates or something like that. And then, but I what all I did was I just plugged it in, plugged this into my computer started turned it on and then I did all the pairing while I was sitting at the computer I did pairing my phone and then I paired the helmet and then I went back through and I was probably trying with it and I finally got it doing what I wanted it to do now it comes out of this there's a quick connect it comes out so if you needed to take it somewhere it's got a screw in the back that locks it in you can screw it but you can quickly just disconnect it pop this in your bag or in your in your you know in your pocket and walk into a store and then all you'd be left with would be this matter on your car, on your motorcycle, so you don't have to worry about it getting stolen. Somebody comes up and it just pops on and off pretty easy. It's just a little five, five inch LCD screen thing. And then it's got a little screw that goes in the back. So if you wanted to mount it first and then figure it out, but I'm gonna mount it basically where it is right now until my, until my part comes. So anyway, it comes with this little adapter and then it also comes with, uh, let's see here. So it comes with like a ball ram mount and it comes with a place to like screw it in, like a bracket to screw it in. Then it comes with another ball ram mount with like an antenna, I mean like a handlebar mount. So you can ball mount it and ram mount it and put it on, a, on your handlebars like I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take that one off and put this one on. And it comes with, um, some U-bolts and some like Velcro or like some, some uh, rubber guarded stuff to put on the, on the backside of your thing so you don't scratch your handlebars. And then it comes with a, a power plug. Oh, there's... Now, it comes with a, a USB to USB-B type, like my, mini USB. I don't know what that's for. But it comes with a, a 12 volt power supply cable, a little box, and then another one of those two... two pin connectors that plug into here. So you basically hook this up to your bike. You hook this up to your bike and then you hook up. Then you have a way to, you know, you can just 
connect it and disconnect it or whatever and hook it up that way. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna set the box down. That's all it really comes with. I'm gonna take the box down. I'm gonna take this, take my GPS mount off. Now, my GPS mount, I mean, my uh, phone mount, I wired it hot to the battery so I could flip a switch here. There's a switch underneath that I could flip it on and have it running. Here, here's the little switch in the back. So I flip it on and see, it came on. It says charge, it says charged. So it came on, but the problem is it doesn't, it, the wireless charging doesn't work. So it stopped wireless charging. So if I click my phone in, wireless charging doesn't work on it anymore. And it's nice that it's sitting here, but it's not doing me any good if the screen keeps going black and I can't control the music and I can't go through the stuff and I can't touch it easily and it doesn't work with the gloves on and the, and the icons are real small. It's the whole point of having an Android Auto system. So it should be fairly simple to do. This has a, let me just drop that down. This has a, now I ran this, this has a ball mount also. I have already got a ball mount mounted to my, to my bike from this. So I could probably just leave this ball mount and mount the new GPS right there. And disconnect this wire from the battery. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna, there's a, there's a, there's a, uh, 20, a 12 volt port right here. I'm gonna see if that port turns on with the, with the key. If it does, then I'm just gonna mount the GPS here and I'm gonna find the wires for that 12 volt port, which I might be able to find without taking this off. They're right here. No, I'm gonna have to take that stuff off. Okay, it's got a quick connect right there and it mounts in a harness. So I'm gonna have to take off this side of the, this side over here of the bike to get to that, to get to that port. So I want to connect this up, but I'm going to run it up through the, through the front of the dash up under here and have the cord up here. So when I mount it here, when I mount it up here with my bracket, when it comes in, my GPS will be sitting right here instead of down here on my handlebars. I don't really want it down here on my handlebars because you're looking down at it and I want it up here so I can look straight at it and see the map and see where to turn. And it's easier to look at. And I'm looking at the road instead of looking down like up around my key area. See, the dash is one thing, but this is a couple inches lower and I don't want to do that. Anyway, so it had a ball mount. I had a ball mount for my phone. Let's see if that ball mount, I think it should be the same one. Let's see. I think it should be the same type of mount. Yeah, here, it's got a little short ball mount. Let's see if this mounts right where the phone ball mount was. Let's see if this will work right here. Yep. There you go. So there, there it goes. That mounts perfect right there. Now this isn't where I'm going to permanently mount it, obviously, but I could always drop it down and have it like that. See, right there. That works. That works for now. So all I need to do is. Okay. So let's see if this, let's see if this turns on if this USB turns on with the, with the key. See, I don't want it to be, I want it to be permanently mounted. Yep. So this little light on the USB turns on with the key. I, am, am I even in this shot? It looks like... And then I have to take off this side of my fairing over here to get to the wire. So let's, let's get on that. Let's do that now. Yep. So this little light on the USB turns on with the key. Uh, am, am I even in this shot? It looks like okay, so I want to see if I'm going to see if this this uh, 12 volt port turns on with the key. I'm pretty sure it does. So I've got a little USB adapter here. I'm just going to plug it in here and see if this turns on with the key, and it does. So technically, what I could do if I was what the heck, just temporarily, which I might do. You know what? I might I might do that and wait for my bracket to come in. So I'm going to connect it. I'm going to connect this up to here with a bracket. And that way I can see I've got it mounted on the handlebar. This is how easy it is. Technically you could on this bike, just hook up this little, it comes with a little USB adapter that comes on with the key. Just put some Velcro up here. 
stick this, plug it into, get a little USB adapter like this one. There. And now when it's, now when it's, you know, I'll get a little piece of Velcro. I've got a little Velcro strip thing. Velcro this up and put it up here behind the, behind the unit. You know, just strap it up here behind the unit like that. And now when I turn the key on, it just comes on. So I want you guys to see this. So I'll show you, I'll show you this. So here's the, here's the screen and here's my phone and it'll automatically go to Android auto. So you see the screen on, it came on automatically and now it's going to auto, Android auto and I don't have to do anything with my phone. My phone could just sit here. So it's going to, it's going to turn on Android auto and just start working. And there it goes. You see it flicks for a second as it connects and there it goes. And now Android auto is connected. So my phone's here. So my phone's in my pocket, right? So my phone's sitting in my pocket and this just starts connecting and it, auto it automatically starts playing music. So I was playing some music. So you can use gloves and you can go to the maps. You can click the maps and put the map full screen. Like you can touch on the map, make the map full and say where you want to go. You can do your search history. You can zoom in and out. You can do all the stuff like you would do on Android auto. You can recenter, go to your house, wherever that's my house. But anyway, you can, you can go to YouTube music. You can go to your phone. It'll show your contacts, the people that you've called. You can click the little thing here. You can have the little quick things, just like the new. It's the new version of Android Auto, and it's just right there in your screen. And my phone is technically would be in my pocket, fully charged in my pocket. If you get a text message, it works like it's like it's plugged into the thing. That's it. That's all there is to it. It's literally that easy. So <laughs> there's no. Let me turn my bike on. But that's all there is to it. You got it on, it's mounted right here, it's done. Now I'm going to, I'm gonna make another video here. I'm gonna disconnect this and I'm gonna make another video, this, this thing here that's hanging here. I'm gonna pull this out. And I will make another video uh, possibly of reconnecting when I mount it up here with the mount that I got from with the mount, see, and when you turn your key off, it turns off. So I can just take off this little, I know you guys like to see this. Here, let's, let's give you the guys a, a, a treat here. <laughs> Everybody likes that. So now it's got a screen right here and this is brilliant for $150. This is easily, easily the best little addition. So you can have this, and the, I think this little bracket was like 20 bucks that goes up here, <clears throat> and it basically just puts a bar up here, like the size of your handlebar, so you can clamp on ball mount, so I can mount the GPS right here, and I can actually take this camera mount and mount it up here, and have my GoPro up here at eye level, a little farther back than here, because I don't know if you noticed it or not, my last video with this, with this camera sitting right here was a little too or my, I had the cheaper one here, but either way, it was a little too close. It was a little too close to get my a nicer shot. So uh, moving it back an extra foot, like eight inches back, will make it even better. And raising it up a little bit will actually put it better and it'll be behind the screen so nothing will hit it or anything like that. I think that's actually the best, the best way to go with the, with the little GoPro for, the, for a mount. But this thing here, I'm going to leave a link in the description. There's a, to the, to this one that I got, but there's a whole bunch of them. They're around $130. It comes out to like $150 with shipping from DH, DH gate and Ali, AliExpress and I'm sure Alibaba places like that. You know, there's uh, all those uh, import sites. It only took a few days to get, like, I was surprised. It's taken longer to get this little bracket that goes on here with the bar from AliExpress, then I got this from DH Gate, and this only took, um, this came in like less than a week from China, and it just showed up in the box. Now there's no instructions, like I said, but it's basically, it does what you want. When you turn the key on, it comes on and connects to 
It even has a motorcycle that comes on it. It's kind of cool, like an adventure touring bike right there, like an adventure bike. But even with the phone off, like I don't have my phone unlocked. Even with my phone unlocked, if my phone was, in, say, in my back pocket, I'll just stick it in my back pocket. My phone's in my pocket. It'll automatically connect. And if I connect my, if I turn my helmet on, it'll connect my helmet. And then when I, when I, when it starts playing music, it'll just start playing through the helmet, just like, just like normal. And it has a bunch of stuff, like you can put an SD card in it. So if you had maps or music or sounds or something, like say you didn't have an audio connection. Say you didn't have an audio connection. See, it's playing music out of it. And that's what it did even when it was connected to my helmet before, but you had to connect to Bluetooth INT, Bluetooth Int, or something like <clears throat> something like that. It comes over here if you go to settings. Now if you go to, <clears throat> you go here and then I go to it's called Rolls Royce. Takes you back to this main screen and then settings uh, Bluetooth. It's I labeled it Kawasaki so I could see it on my phone. Paired shows the Pixel 7 Pro paired that way, my phone, but it doesn't show it doesn't show the other thing. But if you and it's hooked, it is also hooked to but right here on the left, on the far left right here, there's a button that says Bluetooth IMT, e, 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 EMIT, Bluetooth Emit, right there. When you click that, it, it connects to your, you connect that and it connects it to your helmet. And then anything you play through here through SD card, you can even come back to this and just play regular videos or whatever if you're, if you're waiting and you want to watch a video and you've put it on your card, I guess you could do that. I mean, I don't know why you'd do that because you've got a phone. If you're sitting still, you could just look at your phone. But to go back to Android Auto, you just click the Android Auto button and it, co it goes right back on. But it automatically launches in Android Auto. It tells you your, your battery charge percentage and everything on your phone. Just like Android Auto or Apple CarPlay in your car. But for your, for your motorcycle. And see, it's, it's facing up so the sun would be hitting it. But up here, it would be facing like this. So this sunshade on the top would actually block the top of it better. It would work better if it was up here. And that's what I'm going to do with the other mount. But anyway, this is something I just thought I'd, I'd share with you guys, and I think it's a huge deal. I don't know why I haven't seen more people with these things. I mean, I told my buddy Chris about it. He immediately went out and bought his and got it before me because I was waiting for the, the, I was looking around for a mount first, and then next thing I know, he sends me a picture of it on his bike. I was like, dang it. So now I got to get mine. So I bought, I bought it, and it's been sitting. I've had a real bad cold for the, like three or four days now. And so my, uh, my, uh, thing here, this, this thing's been sitting in the, sitting on my desk. So I, I basically just took it in, plugged it into my computer, connected it to my phone, connected it to the Bluetooth headset, got everything working perfect before bringing it out here to plug it in. But then I just realized this thing here can just plug in like this for now. And then I can run this wire whenever I get a chance, I can pull this apart after the bracket comes, I'm gonna run it down through there, like down inside the windshield. There's a spot here in the front. So I've, I've done some research and on this bike, you take these quick pins out, you take the windshield off, you take these out, and then this whole dash piece comes up and then you can run the cable down inside here and run it inside there up underneath the, up underneath the front. Well, that's dirty up underneath the front and hook it into the power that's in there. Cause I'd like to have this still here for Bluetooth to keep it closed up. And that way I can still have, I mean, for USB, I can still have a USB plug if I wanted to. And when I turn the key on, this will just automatically come on and be up here and there won't be any cords hanging down or anything like that. I don't want cords hanging down and stuff like that. I just want it to just to work. But anyway, so that's a video. <laughs> I haven't done one in a while and I thought I'd, you know, come back on here and make a video for y'all. And I, I appreciate everybody uh, sticking with me. I appreciate everybody sticking with me because I, I know I haven't been, I haven't been on here that much. I made a video, um, I made a video when I went down to, to Bike Week and I got this shirt, uh, Bike Week. Daytona Bike Week 20, 2023. 
uh, I got the shirt, but I went to bike week and I just went down for the, the one day, but then I got this terrible cold and, you know, and my throat was sore and I've been working a lot, working all the time and I haven't had a chance to do much. I mean, I've had this thing sitting on my desk for a week and it's just because I was waiting to put it on, you know, to, because I wanted to make a video for you guys, but this isn't, I don't want to just make videos of, you know, me sitting at the bike or you know, me installing a, a thing like this, even though this is, I think this is, this is actually probably, the, this is one of the best accessories I've seen for the bike so far. I mean, this is a must have. I can't believe that this isn't more popular than it is because this is fantastic. But anyway, um, but I, I, I do want to talk about, I'm waiting for the Nikon Z8 to be announced. We all know it's coming. They've already had some leaks about the Nikon Z8. And so I know it's coming. And uh, I think it's going to be about $3,500, maybe four grand, $3,500, maybe, $3,800, somewhere around there, $3,800, something like that. I'm probably not going to buy one. I might rent one. If I get more weddings, I've got some weddings coming up. But if I get more, then I might say, hey, I can go ahead and buy the camera. But um, wedding season slowed down because of COVID. And, you know, it hasn't been real busy that way. And I've been busy doing other stuff and I've been real busy at work on my regular job. So I haven't had a whole lot of time to come on here and make videos like I'd like to. But uh, I will be making some more videos. And thanks for tuning in YouTube and uh, give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Thumbs down if you didn't. I'll leave a link to this in the description below. You got to see where this, you got to get this thing. I'm telling you guys, you got to get this thing. It's a game changer. You got to get this. This is better than... See, the, uh, the new Kawasaki, uh, I was looking at the uh, H2SX, the new Kawasaki H2SX has a new ride, there's a new ride app, this one's called Rideology, that's for this bike, and it doesn't really do anything. The new ride app has maps and stuff that come on the screen, but the problem is, is it's not Google Maps, it doesn't have Android Auto or Apple CarPlay, and basically it's... A proprietary thing and somebody said that your phone has to be unlocked so you have to leave your phone on for it to work I'm like what's the point uh, they they can leave that stuff off all they need to do was make it have Android Auto that's all they needed to do but I guess they don't want people touching the screen reaching over here but if the screens up here it'd be easier to touch I don't know I think this is fantastic this is the best idea so you guys go out and get one <laughs> I mean Hurry up, because the price is going to go up, and you know somebody like Garmin or somebody's going to buy, you know, Cardo or you know, they would they could buy it and have it as a kit with come with their Bluetooth helmets and an Android Auto Apple CarPlay thing, and it's wireless Android Auto. You can plug it in with a cable if you don't have wireless Android Auto on your phone. But what's the point? I think almost all of them do that now, or Apple CarPlay, same thing. Anyway, give the video a thumbs up if you like it. Thumbs down if you didn't. Holler at you later. Thanks for tuning in, YouTube. Thanks for watching. See ya.